What is up, fam? It's your big bro, Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope y'all having a blessed and wonderful day. Uh, yeah, we are here. Still here on Friday night. I'm going to get in a couple of readings for you guys. It is 1.16 a.m. Uh, well, it's actually Saturday. Saturday now. <laughs> 1.16 a.m. Okay, January, January 8th, okay? But yeah, you guys, hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. Um, hopefully you get this on the weekend. So you're having an awesome weekend as well. I want to thank y'all for your continued love and support. Y'all know the drill. Thank y'all for being here and spending time with me, uh, sharing your thoughts, uh, spreading the love, spreading the positivity. Um, also for sharing your insight as well. I really appreciate that as well. Okay. Um, to get us started, let's go ahead and get an angel number. Y'all know how we do. We're going to get an angel number going on here. This number uh, could give you some uh, additional insight, you know, from your spirit team. I assume message that you need to hear uh, during this time, okay? So the first number we got is 34. And then we got 46. So we got, let me write that down. 34, 46. 34, 46 is a number... The number for today, all right? 3446. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and clear the energy out to get us started here. You guys clear your minds too. beverage of today is gonna be uh some blueberry jelly some blueberry jelly is gonna be my uh drink of the day so i got this blueberry jelly and then i also got some agua okay mul mul seo so i got some mul which is water in korean and I got some blueberry jelly. Okay, let me start out. Let me get a little sip of this jelly. Okay. This is real sweet. Mmm. It's super sweet. Wow. Mmm. I like the jelly pieces in here too. That's cool. So you guys, yeah. So the message we got going on for you guys today. This is about a person who's preying on people on the weak minded, right? This is someone who is fake woke. Y'all know that term fake woke. They say, oh my God, I'm so enlightened. I'm so spiritual. Uh, I'm an ascendant master. I'm tarara, whatever. Tarara, I can see this. I was, I was, yo, <laughs> I'm not going to tap into that fuckery, but y'all know what I'm talking about. This person, there's a fake woke person who's trying to influence you, looking for followers. And the reason why this message is coming up is because you guys are leaders. You know what I'm saying? They looking for a follower when you guys are leaders or you should be you should be living your life as a leader. That means using your own discernment, using your own intuition, making your own judgments and not letting nobody else tell you what is what. You feel me? If I tell you the sky is pink or whatever, you say, okay, cool. And then you look your ass up and you look and see what color the sky is. You feel me? That's just how it should always go. You shouldn't just be like, oh, I'm going to take your word for it. Da, da, da. I'm not saying that you should distrust people. I'm saying that you should have a, you should be in a, in a, a regular habit of using your own discernment, you know, using your own intuition, using your own brain, your brain. I'm calling it your, your calculator, you know, your calculator should always be turned on and it should be a scientific calculator, not one of them basic calculators that just do one plus two, da-da-da. We need to carry the one, carry the da-da-da, multi multiply, 
divide and give me the square root. We need to do we need to do graphs on that mug. Do everything. You feel me? Open the court, yo. We need a calculator to do everything. So that's what I mean when I tell y'all y'all calculators need to be turned on. That just means that you, you y'all need to be hey, y'all need to be aware. You need to be present. You know what I'm saying? You need to be present. Cause I'm getting this person is giving me like. Jim Jones vibe, like drinking the Kool-Aid, like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, they're looking for people that they can control, who they can influence, who they can tell how to live their life, tell what to do, and not trying to empower people to make their own decisions. You feel me? I'm hearing, don't put your faith in no man or woman. That faith should be in yourself, your higher self, and your spirit, whoever you believe in, you feel me? Trust your own discernment and intuition. This person is here to try to take you off your path, right? Try to lead you in the wrong direction. Y'all, y'all need to make sure that y'all always following your mind, your own mind, your own intuition. Somebody's purposely, I'm hearing this person is purposely trying to mislead you. Purposely trying to mislead you. Let me get some characteristics from this person too. Give us some characteristics from this person. Give us clear and concise messages, please. A deceitful stranger. This person is a deceitful stranger. You are not to trust this person. You feel me? You are to, let me put it this way. You are to trust your discernment about this person. How about that? Because every stranger that comes up to you is not a deceitful stranger. It's the specific person. In order for you to know who that person is, you need to have your calculator turn on and y'all get ready to, put, to, to, to push them buttons to, to, to solve the equation. You feel me? It should be nothing for y'all. This person is coming like they're coming with harmony, whatever. But this harmony behind this harmony is control. Okay? They want to control you. They want you to drop and stop what you're doing and do what they want you to do. You feel me? So let's say you you saying, okay, I want to go back to school. I want to be a nurse. This person will tell you, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. You should do this. You should do X, Y, Z. They going to come off like they got your best interest at heart, like a soul tribe, like they're your soul tribe. You feel me? But this person, this person is going to try to take you off the path that you are currently on. Okay. Now, it's one thing if a person trying to take you off your path and that and your path that you're currently on is not serving your highest good. But if your your path is currently leading you to to self-empowerment, to to freedom, you know, of speech, freedom of mind. You're using your mind, you're using your own discernment. You know, you're actually trying to manifest the things that you want in your life and you're trying to heal and you're trying to move forward. If it's on that, that's cool. You feel me? But if they're trying to take you off of that path to where you can think for yourself and they're trying to get promote you to think for yourself or try to get you to, uh, to, to put yourself in healthy situations, if they try to take you off of that path and it's more so... Hey, what should I do? Kind of, kind of thing. Cause this person has a, it's giving me Jim Jones vibe. Like I need you to follow me. I need you to do what I say, you know, do what I say. That's what it's giving me. And one thing about me, like growing, I like even growing up, I've never been that kind of person. I don't like people to tell me what to do. I like to use my own mind, you know, use my own discernment. And make my own decisions, my own choices, even if they fucked up, even if I make mistakes, you know, because I only have myself to blame. I It, it doesn't turn around and be like, oh, well, damn, I shouldn't listen to that person. I should listen to myself. You know what I'm saying? Like you want you always want that. And you, and you guys cannot be afraid of making mistakes. Right. Because sometimes we we go to other people and we want them to give us advice and then we hang on there every single word and. Then we, we don't, ultimately, we don't make our own decisions for ourselves. We just do what people tell us to do. 
But let's let's say you're going to get readings from people, or you're listening to readings, or you're going to get advice from people. That is only supposed to be there to help you come to your own conclusion, to help you come to your own decision. Not there to replace your decision, to to make the decision for you. No, it's it's supposed to give you a different side of the story, or to maybe open you up to different perspectives. You know. And not ultimately tell you, oh, to do this, do that, da, da, da. Even the readings that I give over here, y'all do what the fuck y'all want to do, you feel me? I'm not holding a gun in y'all head to tell y'all to do nothing, you know? This is this is somebody who gets mad when you don't do what they want you to do. I had a quote-unquote friend that was like that, too. She would be like, she would be all cool with you. And then she was the kind of person, too, to where she wanted to control the situation. She wanted to guide you. And if you... If you took your own calculator out and you made your own deductions and you said, no, I don't want to do this. No, I don't feel right. Da, 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 then she got mad. Y'all got to be careful for people like that, that get pissed off and mad because you don't do what they want you to do. Where the hell they do that at? Where they do that at? Yo, order in the court. Watch out for people like that who get mad when you don't, when you don't march to the beat of their drum. You're supposed to be marched to the beat of your own drum. You feel me? This person is, is, is full of a bag of stupidity. You feel me? The things that come out of their mouth don't really make no sense. It's not common sense. It's based off of ego and it's based off of deceit by them wanting to have things their way. I'm hearing that this person is also a know-it-all. They think that they know everything and they they got the answer and the solution to every single thing too. But when you but when you turn your calculator on and you and you add up that equation, you be like, what the fuck is this person talking about? Like they're not even making any sense. They're trying to get me you know, caught up in, in some, some BS, right? Like, they telling me to go and knock on this person's door and punch them in the face, you feel me? They trying to get me get me locked up. They trying to get me cased up. They trying to get my ass beat, you feel me? Something crazy like that, you feel me? Or they trying to get me to lose my house. They trying to get me to lose my job. Running running after, uh, after them or doing what they want me to do. See, the boss, this person wants to be the boss. They want to, they, they get off on control. Okay, but they use uh, I am perfect. This person is like, I am perfect. I am the guru. And God, let me tell y'all something. This person hides this anger very, very well because this person is about all about harmony and peace and kumbaya and tranquil. And, and when you're spiritual, you never get mad. And everything is sunshine and rainbows and i'm having a beautiful day every single day i'm never sad i'm never disappointed i'm never angry i'm always happy i walk around with a big ass smile on my face looking like the damn joker ordering the court weirdo vibes ain't nobody on this earth ever happy every single day you feel me just like nobody should be mad every single day you feel me but there's nobody that's going to be happy every single day. Not living this life. We are spiritual beings inside of a human body living a human experience. A human experience is not perfect. It's not just peaches and sunshines and rainbows and unicorns and stuff. No. It's full of ups and downs. It's full of trials and tribulations. It's full of a test and stuff like that. I don't know about you, but test to me... If I could, I would just skip tests. You feel me? Like, I don't want to go through tests either, but we all have to go through them, you know? Tests aren't the most fun things to go through. You know, learning lessons in life ain't the most fun things to go through. You feel me? Sometimes they're aggravating as hell. I don't know about you, but they be aggravating to me sometimes. Like, yo, why I gotta, why I gotta go do this again? Oh, God. Or in the court, this again? Oh, God. Damn. You know? But we gotta, we gotta do it. We got schemer on the bottom of the deck. This person is a whole schemer. This, these are the people who feed you a persona that fits the whole character that they're playing. You know, y'all know the whole spiritual. I'm a spiritual person, so I gotta be X Y Z kind of way. I'm a vegan. I don't do nothing that harm the earth. All that bullshit like that. Da, da, da. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. That's a beautiful thing. But I mean, if it's genuine, it's genuine. But if you play in a role, that's something else. That's something different. 
Y'all got to be careful of people who always say that they they happy every single day and they don't never have no issues and they don't want to slap a bitch in the face, you know what I'm saying, for pissing them off or nothing like that because come on now. Come on now. You try to do that. You you try to do that for a whole month and you try to do that for a whole week and see how far you get. Somebody going to piss you off, you feel me? It's just, yo, this person... They may either come off like they're your twin flame. They may even present themselves as a twin flame. Hell, they might even be your twin flame trying to influence you or trying to try to be your boss, right? Get you in a, a connection with them and then take control, take advantage. I mean, this person likes to prey on the weak-minded people. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that they, that they control. They don't like strong individuals. They don't like people who think for themselves. They don't like you to make who you make your own uh, decision of. You like your own things, right? They like people who go with the go with the flow, go with the crowd, you know, with what other people want. You feel me? This could be an old friend that's returning back into your life. Or it just could be somebody who you've been having in your life, right? An old friend who you really haven't seen the true face of. You haven't really seen who they truly are. Or you haven't discovered. Or you're just now discovering who this person really is. Look what we got right here. We're trying to come out. Fake friend. Y'all see that? Fake friend. Yeah, this person is This person is not. They're not your friend. You feel me? They're a whole, what we got? A whole scam artist. They're a whole scam. Didn't I tell y'all that? And look, friend of me. This is a friend of me. They, uh. They pretend to be a friend, but they're really your enemy. They go, they're against you, right? A romantic soulmate. Some of y'all, this is somebody who you had a romantic connection with. Twin flame, soulmate, all that stuff, right? Sometimes those people can be karmic soulmates as well. You feel me? Karmic connections where you need to learn from. This person may have betrayed you, or they may be betraying you right now with a foolishness. Some of y'all, y'all known this person for a long time. Y'all may have been in a relationship with this person for a long time. Long-term connection. This is someone who always has to be right. And this person could also use violence to prove their points too. Okay, look, a user, opportunist, they use people. Jealous, they may be jealous of you having relationships or connections with other people. It's like you're my only friend, enemy, right? Some of y'all this may be y'all co-worker, okay. This could be someone who likes to be on their own or they don't they don't really let you in on who they really are. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who you can have a conversation with this person, but you still know nothing about them, right? They come off like they're unbiased, like they're just for everybody, and they're, they're, that they're fair, right? But this person is a storyteller. They be telling lies, right? And this is someone who you could have a connection or relationship with, whether it was platonic or romantic, okay? We're going to see what else, what other kind of vibes we got here. What this person is bringing to the, what they bring to the table. Let's see what this person is bringing to the table. What you need to know about. Only thing I know is y'all need to not like y'all need to make sure that your calculators is always turned on and that you're not letting nobody tell you what to do in your life. You feel me? That includes readers. That includes me. Well, I always tell y'all I don't fuck with y'all. Y'all do it. It's not y'all. I'm not saying like I don't fuck with you doing, but y'all know what I'm saying. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna go out of my way to try to convince you to do something because I'm not a salesman. You know. So either you want or you don't. You feel me? I would, I would never be, I would, I don't think I would make a good car salesman or whatever. Y'all need to focus on what makes you happy, period, right? And if what somebody else tells you to do, or when they, when they, when they trying to uh, give you an opinion based off what, on, on your life and what you're doing, try to tell you what to do, try to, try to live your life for you, if it doesn't make you happy, don't do it, period. You feel me? Don't do it. This could be somebody who you guys are... Uh, have already disconnected from who still have some sort of influence in your life or they coming back, you know? There's a reason why this warning is coming up or this message is coming up for this person. What else we got? 
high curiosity. This person is very, very curious about you. If this person is not in your life right now and they're coming back, because for ex association, this is somebody that is coming back and you guys are being warned ahead of time before they show back up. This person is heavily focused on you. Like they gotta know, they have to know what you're doing in your life. They have to know what you're doing, if you're going with somebody, where you work, what you what money you making, how you live, you know, how you live in your life. This person may even use religious philosophies to and, and, and spiritual different spiritual philosophies to create fear in your heart to get you to use it as a form of control to tell you oh if you do this this gonna happen to you if you do that that's gonna happen to you so you should do this or whatever or that's the kind of person who be using uh bible scriptures to their advantage and they don't mean they don't even mean they don't even fit the situation but they're gonna twist them and make them fit the situation you feel me yeah i know that type yeah, this is this ain't gonna be nothing but fights and arguments because you guys are not like I'm telling you, spirits and y'all leaders, y'all not followers, so this is not really gonna work. You feel me? It's not gonna this is a connection that's not gonna work. Because this person needs somebody who's a follower. They need somebody who they can control. And I'm hearing that you guys are not somebody who you're gonna let come into your life and control you. Period. I'm hearing the better association with you is anything that do what makes you happy, okay? If somebody trying to tell you what to do and controlling you doesn't make you happy, then you know that's not the person for you. You feel me? It's not the person. And look, this person has been talking crap and running their mouth about you, period. You feel me? Could be trying to create this narrative about you. Like, I'm hearing problem and solution. Oh, I'm here to save you. I'm here to get you back right with God. You feel me? I'm here to put you right back on the path. God told me X, Y, Z about you. Told you to do X, Y, Z. Those kind of people. You feel me? Hidden enemy. This is a hidden enemy lurking. Y'all see this. This person is not your friend. We already got enemy car and friend of me too. Right? We got that already. Underneath the deck was targeting you, but I kept, I kept shuffling. Sorry. But it said targeting. This person is targeting you because they think you're weak they think you're weak and they think you're an easy target that's why they're targeting you they think you're an easy prey and they're gonna come in and do whatever the hell they want to do control your life take from you spirit said no this person is gonna is is being with this person okay is going to cause you to doubt yourself and that you should not be doubting yourself. You know what the hell makes you happy. You know what works for you. You know that. You can't depend on me to tell you what, what makes you happy. You can't depend on another reader to tell you what makes you happy. You know that. You know that better than we do, you feel me? I know it makes me happy. And you know it makes you happy. Spirit is saying right now, yo, you, it's time for you to unleash the dragon on these hoes, you feel me? Unleash the dragon. And what I mean by this is like, be who you are. Don't hold back. If something if something doesn't make you happy, if something makes you feel uncomfortable and you don't want to do it, no peer pressure. Don't do it. Tell their ass no. You feel me? That's the lesson that I had to learn with that friend that I told you guys about. I had to learn that too. Because they're trying to control me and have me do X, Y, Z. I don't want to do it. So they're like, okay, you're not going to do that, but then do this. Then I tell you no. You feel me? I had to get away from that influence, right? I had to get away from it. Because I'm not going to let you play with me like that. You feel me? Because you're not respecting me. You're not asking me what I want. You're not asking me what I like. You're not asking me. You're not even asking me if I feel comfortable doing X, Y, Z. But you're just going to tell me to do something. Like I'm a child. When I'm a grown ass man. You feel me? Or the court. That's what I said. Don't let nobody come into your life and try to tell you what to do. Unleash your dragon and, and let their ass know. Yo, I'm, I'm grown. I'm a grown ass adult. I'm setting these are these are my boundaries and don't step over them, period. Right? If I don't feel comfortable with something, it's gonna be no. Be comfortable with saying no. Comfortable. Be comfortable with saying no. Don't be us, don't be scared. You feel me? And it says don't feed the animals. Hmm. Don't feed the animals. Period. This person is just a fan. They watching you. They watching you. Y'all got an open door. 
uh, some door was is opening for you guys. Some it, and it's bringing in some sort of opportunity for you guys. That's what y'all need to be focused on. Not this bullshit with people coming in and trying to tell you what to do, try to live your life. This could be something that you really want to do. Something that makes you happy. An opportunity or a door is opening up for you to do something that makes you happy. You feel me? That's what you need to be working on. These people, whoever this person is, could be spreading rumors about you. Talking behind your back. Having temper. To, didn't I tell y'all this? We saw already this person has anger issues. They have temper tantrums when they don't get their weight. When you tell them no, they're going to get mad. Who does that? A little kid does that. Who ain't got no home training. Period. It is what it is. Hold on. Let me get some of my, let me get some of my, my blueberry jelly again. You feel me? <laughs> Y'all don't pay me no attention. Oh, it's like jello. It's good. <laughs> mm. What else we got here? See, love connections. This person is going to come in like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I love you. I want to get this started out. Da, da, da. And it could even be platonic. You know what I'm saying? You need me in your life. I can show you the way. I can help you. I can teach you this, teach you that. If you guys are looking for love, this person could be coming in as a distraction. The one that open door could be a love connection. Y'all need to focus on trust people you can trust. People who you don't have to question. You feel me? Somebody that you don't have to question. What doors are opening up and what areas? Tell me about that open door. That's, ooh. Y'all see it? I almost put it back in the deck. Passion. This open door that's coming up for y'all, there's something that makes you happy. This is an opportunity for you to do what, what you're passionate about. Something that you've been passionate about. Some sort of goal, some sort of dream, okay, that you've been passionate about. Whether it's a job, career, uh, money-making opportunity, whether it's love, whatever the hell it is, you feel me? Some of y'all could be health related, could be losing weight, working on yourself, working on your mental, whatever it is. This is an opportunity for you to, to, to do something that's, that you consider a passion, that you're passionate about. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be time for you to, that's why you don't, that's why spirit's trying to keep you away from this person, right? Because this person may be a distraction or this person may persuade you not to walk through this door when this opportunity comes, Right? And some of you guys may be prone. This person may fear monger you in the, into turning down this opportunity, this open door that's coming up for you guys. But when you guys, when this door open up, y'all actually be taking action. You, you, you feel me? It's time to take action. And it's time for you guys to ground yourself. You feel me? So that you'll be able to use your calculator. And you, you'll be able to not be, you know, you'll be able to make uh, sound judgments for yourself and you won't be persuaded by people or thrown off by people or being confused by people and there when they want to put in their two cents into your business you feel me watch who you partner with when it comes to friendship there's new this open door is new friends that are coming into your life as well right people who support you people who are not going to try to put you down people who are not going to try to control you your faith. This open door is an opportunity for you to see that the results of you having faith, okay, in yourself, in your dreams, in your goals, in your ambitions, okay? This is going to be validation. Like, yeah, okay, uh, this is actually working out for me. Uh, I'm having, my faith is actually paying off. I never gave up and I just kept going and I believed in the dream and it came true or it's coming true, right? These are changes. Your life, this is here to, this open door is here to bring positive changes into your life. You feel me? And it's going to be an opportunity that, that gives you more, excuse me, that causes you to have more confidence in yourself, okay? It's going to cause you guys to have more confidence, okay? Oh, psychic attacks. It's going to have you guys to be more confident against psychic attacks as well, too, is what I'm getting. And y'all want y'all to know, too, that you may be getting psychic attacks because this is something good that's happening. Y'all know how the haters do. Y'all know how it goes. You feel me? 
this person could see you turning them down and get mad and do some shit. You feel me? Either way, do what the fuck makes you happy. Don't worry about nobody else. Don't let nobody stop you from doing so. Especially if it was something that you, you've been wanting to do uh, for the longest. Don't let nobody stop you from, from doing that. You feel me? Let nobody stop you from moving ahead. And if somebody, if you know that somebody has a certain type of influence over you and you don't want to get back into that, you know that that you might lose your, lose your self-control, then don't, don't open yourself up to that person. Don't give them access to you. Don't start it. You can stop it before it even starts. And that way you don't have yourself in that sort of predicament to where you where you where you, where, you, where it's harder for you to fight your way out of it says surrender your ego cultivate gratitude be of service to others and come from the heart a big ego can work against you but humility will further your goals surrender stress take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body let the stress go as you come back to your center. This is that grounding energy that you guys need, right? That's going to help you, right? Surrender frustration, that grounding energy. Grounding is very, very strong for you guys. You guys really, 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 really need to be taking the time to ground yourself, whether it's you getting out in nature, you meditating more, you doing cleansing, or doing a combination of all of those things and even more things. Y'all need to focus on grounding, right? So that you could have control of your your mind, okay? So that people can't come into your life and, and, and throw you off balance, you know? Can pull you down the wrong path or, or influence you in a way that doesn't serve your highest good or that takes you off of the path that you know you need to be on, right? Surrender frustration. It says frustration doesn't open any doors you see that you see that symbology when it comes to open doors there's going to be an open door coming for you and that is why you need to ground your energy so that you're ready and prepared for that open door and you need to cut yourself off of and remove yourself away from anything that 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 takes you away from being grounded okay anything that brings you stress anything that keeps you in this ego type um Energy, anything that frustrates you, you need to let that shit go. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Mm. Yeah, y'all definitely, grounding is going to be very, very, very important for you guys. Let me pull a self, what is this called? A self-care wisdom card. How many we got? We got three, so we're going to go with it. Surrender to him. Surrender again. Yo, y'all need to surrender because I feel like this person, if they catch out, they're going to they, they gonna try to catch out slipping. You feel me? Don't let nobody catch out slipping and throw you off balance. It says stop trying to control life. It gets in the way of divine intervention, and that is what is happening with this open door. This open door is divine, interve divine intervening to bring you or put you in alignment with what makes you happy. You feel me? But it's up to you, you know? And like y'all know what happens when you be getting opportunities, that nemesis energy comes into play to where it tries to throw you out of balance or to bring negativity into your life or to put you down the wrong path or some other bullshit. You feel me? Time. Time spent worrying is time spent so it's just telling you don't waste your time worrying about shit you feel me let it go surrender you feel me surrender frustration surrender stress surrender your ego surrender these connections that don't serve your highest good sovereign okay so this says you are the queen or king of your life treat yourself like royalty hell yeah because these people if anybody puts you beneath them, that's not, and you accept that shit, that's not you putting yourself, treating yourself like royalty. You treat yourself like a peasant or treating yourself like you are uh, you are inferior to somebody else. Royalty does not do that. You feel me? Royalty holds their head up high and they keep their crown on top of their, on top of their head. You feel me? 
Don't let nobody ever have you taking your crown down. Because when you bow down to people, that shit's going to fall off your head. You feel me? Order in the court. It's going to fall off of your head. You keep your head held high and keep your crown on your head and don't bow down to nobody. And don't let nobody make come in in your life and try to make it seem like they, they're above you. They're superior to you. You got to follow them. They know, your, they know you better than you know yourself. They know what's best for your life. No. That's the door that you need to close. You need to lock that bitch. You feel me? Lock it. Put some boards up on it and do what you got to do. You feel me? Let me get y'all some, uh, let me get some of this advice, advice oracle here. Yeah. Do you feel you deserve the best? That's how you always need to be. You need to stay in this type of energy, this sovereign energy, royal. Treat yourself like kings and queens that you are. Do you feel you deserve the best? If you don't, you shouldn't. You should start feeling that way that you deserve the best. And don't let nobody be giving you scraps. Don't let nobody be giving you no bullshit. You feel me? Don't let anyone... Yo! Yo! Order me court. Yo! 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 Wasn't we just talking about this? Don't let anyone tell you what to do with your life. Then we... Then, then, uh, isn't this what this whole video is centered around too? Y'all not let nobody control your life or dictate your life especially when it comes to you doing what if it's out of alignment of what makes you happy y'all need to be doing what makes you happy regardless of who, whoever the hell it is right what else we got yep look you are the only one who can limit yourself. Hell yeah. Nobody else can limit you but yourself. If you let somebody else come in your life and limit you, then that's on you. It was your choice. You know? Nobody can force you to limit yourself. You 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 have to give them that to give that power away. Don't never give that power away and don't ever limit yourself. The the sky is this the sky ain't even a motherfucking limit. You know, your this your success and what you can achieve is unlimited and, and it's Inf infinite. Ooh, we're falling on the floor. Stick to your own kind, period. Stick to people who vibrate on your same frequency. We talked about that, right? We talked about, you know, you vibe with people who is of your soul tribe, who is of your same frequency. And that's, that's, th those are the friendships that's coming into your life. You feel me? People who are of your same, who are of your soul tribe, who who uplift you, who empower you, who motivate you, who respect you. Okay? Now, that's what I got for you guys today. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonated with you guys, please comment in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about it, okay? Thank y'all for being here. And thank y'all for being open, open to the messages. I gave y'all a, yeah, I gave y'all a uh, angel number. 3446. Yeah. But yeah. Um, peace, love, and light to you guys. Y'all take care. Ciao.